love it. It's really dedicated to the art of chiropractic. That's what this talks about. All of us in here are artists, budding artists working with our hands. <coughs> we use this table. Maybe not this table, maybe a different table. Maybe no table at all, maybe it's a chair. But what we're doing is art. We can continue on to what chiropractic is. I got this off of the school's website. Chiropractic is a natural and non-invasive form of healthcare that is based on the principle that the body has the inherent ability to heal without the use of direct or surgery. That's where we, as the artist, comes in to deliver the chiropractic adjustment. What form are we using to deliver the chiropractic adjustment? It's your personal choice. Three-legged stool. Science, philosophy, and of course, the art. I think it's important to touch a little bit on the science and the philosophy, just so we have a better understanding. We all know that we're dealing with subluxations, and we're delivering an adjustment to allow the innate intelligence, the power that made the body, to heal the body. And again, our art form is allowing all this to happen. This here's a quote from a patient that I took from a doctor. How hasn't he helped me? I can walk, sit, sleep. I don't have headaches every day. I can't think of how he hasn't helped me. Dr. Klassen makes me happy and glad I'm alive. I admire him and respect him so much. This is what we're going to see on a daily basis. Someone comes in, we sit them down on our table, we make that connection, however we decide to do it. We observe them, they're our canvas, they're our piece of clay. We lay them down, we deliver the adjustment. That precise force to remove the subluxation in that person. Always 100%, always perfect for that particular time. This is a quote as I was going through the internet, came across, and it just stuck with me. <laughs> the difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra. As we go through school here and go through classes and techniques, go into clinic and get our 250 adjustments and our 50 student adjustments. That's the ordinary. What is that little bit extra that you can do to make you extraordinary? What is it that you can do as an artist to make yourself stand above everyone else? To become that Picasso, that Rembrandt, to have your painting on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. What can you do as a chiropractor to stand out, to make yourself known in your city, in your state, in the country? What is it that you want to do? How are you going to perform your art in your office? I know that the way that I do it the way I dress, the way I communicate with my patients, is going to be different than someone like Jesse. Someone different than Brett, than Adam. Because even though we're here for the same process, we're all different. If every artist was the same, how boring would the world be? Every house would look the same. Everything on the wall would be the same. It's not how we are. 
It's what's inside of us. That's where we deliver the adjustment. That's how we become our artists. Don said, diversified, layer, orthogonal. The list goes on. So many different techniques out there. Which one's right for you? I know for me coming in as a second quarter now, my head is spinning. You know, this makes sense to me, this makes sense to me. Which one's right for me? I've got to search inside and decide that's what's calling me. That's what my innate is telling me. How I'm going to become that artist. Someone might think as the first part, yep, I've seen a diversified doc my whole life. I love it. That's what I'm going to do. Challenge yourself. Do that little extra. Go to clubs. Expose yourself to different art forms and see if there's not something out there that really touches more with you. And even if you do decide to go with the diversify that you came in thinking you're going to do, know that you as the artist are going to tweak it and make it how you want it done. Another quote here from Maya Angelou. People forget what you say. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. To me, that tells me what chiropractic is. We have the ability to bring back that life to people. Whatever it is that's missing inside of them. We get them on our table, in our chair, and deliver that force, clear out that system, and make them feel whole. They're never going to forget that. Brings me back to that first quote that I shared with you guys, that testimonial. That person has no idea what their doctor did to them, but they know how they felt from it. So as an artist, I challenge you to do that little bit extra, to make yourself extraordinary. Get connected in whatever way is right for you as an artist. Whether you're going to use watercolors, clay, oil paints, those are my techniques. So whichever technique you decide to use, do it. Own it. But feel it. Don't get sucked in because, hey, my buddy's doing this, and yeah, it sounds great, and we're going to open a practice together, if it's not what you want. Be the artist. Love the art.